And so uh, when you're talking to Alexa, Alexa is doing voice recognition. And sometimes Alexa understands my accent, sometimes Alexa does not understand my accent. And it's because enough data, uh, which sounds like me, has not been fed to Alexa. So the, the third aspect of AI, so the one is it's trained by data. Second, that it's making a prediction. So every time it hears a new new voice, Alexa is saying, is this Sudha's voice? Do I understand what she's saying? And it is trying to recognize that. Sometimes it, it recognizes, sometimes it doesn't recognize. So based on the confidence level of the probability when it's making a prediction, it might recognize what I'm saying and it's it might get me the answer. Sometimes it might misunderstand. So two other key characteristics of AI is AI is very narrow. So whatever data set it has been trained, it knows only that. And based on that, it thinks it knows the answer. AI will not say, I don't know. AI will not say, sorry. You might hear Alexa saying, sorry. You might say chat GPT saying, I don't understand. Can you rephrase that? It is not the AI saying, sorry. It is the UI they've set up to make it say that. But AI, when it makes a prediction would say, this is Sudha. This is what she's asking. This is the voice of whoever, right? It is 100% trying to fit within its memory of what it has learned. And it thinks that's the end of the world. That's the boundary of the world for AI. This is very, very, very important because to your point here, when AI is trained by a data set and it is, now you bring a customer and you, you tell your customer, hey, it can understand understand your voice. Now tell it to drive the car, tell it to do something, right? If it doesn't have that person's voice, like voice in its memory, in its learning, it is not going to understand.